Through novel materials and 3D printing approaches, we're aiming to build the future where we can program the eardrum to repair itself after injury. Perforated tympanic membranes, also known as ruptured eardrums, are extremely common, and they happen to about 30 million individuals worldwide each year, with 4 million of those in North America and the European Union alone. And thus, a lot of these patients suffer from hearing loss. Additionally, this hole creates a channel to the middle ear where pathogens such as viruses and bacteria can enter and cause infections that can spread to the brain and cause other problems. Eardrum perforations can be caused by a number of factors. Um, the first is chronic ear infections, such as otitis media, a very common condition in children. But in addition to that, a foreign body in the ear canal, such as a Q-tip or blast-related injury, as is commonly seen in our service members these days, as well as was experienced in civilian tragedies, such as the Boston Marathon bombing, resulted in a significant number of eardrum perforations. The repair of tympanic membrane perforations, commonly called tympanoplasty, while generally good and there are outcomes that approach nearly 80%, we do find that there is a sizable portion of individuals who will require revision surgery. And the reason for revision surgery are things like reperforation, there's another hole that forms, or they chronically get additional infections. And so it's not uncommon to have to go back to the operating room to repair the tympanic membrane perforation more than once. What if we could program the eardrum to repair itself following injury? In our group, we've developed a novel device known as the phonograph that is 3D printed into an architecture that matches the circular and radial structure of the normal eardrum. And what this means is that it's able to vibrate well at both low and high frequencies. And additionally, as native cells from the patient grow onto these grafts and remodel the tissue, it begins to look like tissue that matches that of the original eardrum, so that over time, an intact natural eardrum is reformed as the graft degrades. So I like to think of a good analogy to the tympanic membrane perforation as a sort of tire puncture. Current technology for tympanic membrane repairs are really just patching that hole with any material. Um, and if it's a autologous tissue, you can kind of consider it, you're carving a bit of the tire off to then patch over the, where the hole is. You're also then not recreating the tread of where that puncture was. So you're losing some of those mechanical properties that the tire had previously. The chinchilla is an animal that has an eardrum of similar size to the human, and this allows us to be able to use it to study eardrum healing and repair. They also have a frequency range of hearing that is nearly identical to the human. So they really are an ideal model for our research in the phonograph. After three months, we did acoustic testing on the chinchillas, which showed better hearing outcomes for the phonograph versus the controls. In fact, with phonographs, the hearing was restored closest to normal. This is very exciting news for people with hearing deficits. So the competitive advantage of the phonograph is it's easy to use, non-invasive, has regenerative properties. It's actually been shown to improve hearing and healing outcomes in our animal models. So this is an advantage to existing technologies, whether it be autologous tissue that is actually quite invasive, requiring a secondary procedure to harvest, or animal products made from pork, which then has its own issues with many patients not wanting pork products implanted in them. So phonograft is really advantageous in all key areas. I'm really thankful to be working with such an incredible and diverse team on this project. From world-class professors like Jennifer Lewis to fantastic ear, nose, and throat surgeons like Aaron and Elliot, we've really been able to design better graphs that meet functional outcomes. Additionally, being at Harvard and working with so many talented students, we've really been able to push this project forward in additional ways. So knowing that there are people working to improve the quality of life uh, for those with hearing loss, it makes me very excited about my future and other people's futures as well. We're hoping to build a better future where we can create these phonographs using novel materials and 3D printing to actually program the eardrum to repair itself.